What's up everybody, Bryce here again, and this is a day in my life as a Part 147 AMP instructor. Good morning everybody, it is a solid 5.07 in the morning. I am whipping myself up some breakfast before heading to work. Well, I have made it to the school. My, my commute's usually about an hour. Um, it doesn't take as long to get here in the summertime because the soccer mom brigade is not on the road, but I did get out of the house a little late. I usually wake up about 4.30, 4.45, so I have time to do some stretches. And then after that, I get on the road and it takes me between 45 minutes to an hour to get to work. So it's almost it's almost 6.20. Um, I usually get here about 6, 6.15. So more on that in a second. So yeah, I'm always typically here first or second just because I live the farthest away. I know that sounds weird, but I live about 45 miles from work. So I typically try to be here early, early so I can avoid all the traffic that is on Highway 90 on my way in. But either I'm here first or the program coordinator, he's like our appointed boss, if you will. He's a faculty member, uh, just like I am, but he has the title of program coordinator and he's in charge of the schedule and all that kind of fun stuff. But this is the hangar here at the school and this is where we do all of our instruction. So where to from here? Well, the building opens at about 6.30, but most of the students uh, don't get here until 7, 7.15, and classes start at 7.30. Uh, however, I do have some students that get here pretty early. So after opening the hangar, I take my badge and I go and I open all the classrooms for any classes that may be in session today, which again, in the summer, there's only a few cohorts and they're all adults, but during the spring and fall, we do have um, high school students in like dual credit classes as well as the new cohort gets started in the fall. So there are a lot more students here and there's a lot more doors to open. Now that the doors are all open, it's time for a second cup of coffee and then I will check my emails. Yep, my emails are still there. I do wanna also say to everybody, I hope you have a wonderful Father's Day weekend and do something that you enjoy. Hopefully you get a chance to relax or mow your grass, whatever it is that you want to do. So at this point, you may be wondering where the Part 147 school that I teach at is located and who it is. Well, for this time or for the time being, the school is going to remain nameless. And I do that not for any sort of legal reason. I've mentioned this before, but I'm not authorized to make statements on the school's behalf. My views and opinions expressed here are not those of the school and so on and so forth. So I just I just don't say the school's name, but I will give you a hint that should give it away. Uh, we are in San Antonio, Texas, and we are not Hallmark University. And that's nothing against Hallmark University. It's just we're not them. Um, so if you wanna find out more about the program, go over to my channel page. If you actually go to my, my channel, um, in the about information, somewhere is an email to contact me. I believe it's BryceAP137, or it might be BryceAP.137. Um, but head over there and find that. There's also a link to the Discord if you wanna join the Discord server. It's a little, little community we got going. There's about 20 or 30 people in there now, um, as well as a link to my, YouTube, or my Instagram if you wanna go follow my Instagram page so head on over there and do that but if you send me an email i will give you the program coordinator's information he's in the office immediately next to mine um, i'll send you his his information his name his phone number his email and he can actually set you up to schedule a tour of the building and you should also know that i think registration for the fall is going to be closing very soon uh, so if you want to get registered and you want to come in the fall which will be august it's currently june uh, you might want to do that sooner than later my students left me a little gift any cute? You want to get my natural position? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, I don't. So this is my program coordinator. If you email me, I'm going to send you his information to take a tour and register for classes. You're not talking to me. Sorry.
Well, my first class is uh, finished. I don't have an afternoon class because it's summertime, so I can leave early. But we're all going to go to lunch today, and we're going to meet a new DME. But first, I want to show you all my favorite uh, tool for NAVCOM. These are a couple of simulators that we got somewhat recently. We have a analog Cessna 172, and then we have a G1000 system and a Cessna 172. And I mean, for NAVCOM, they work because we're talking about radios and things, so I can demonstrate autopilots, I can demonstrate instrument failures and all kinds of stuff in here, and plus the students get a chance to fly them, even though we're maintenance, but it is kind of cool. So I'm probably going to do a, like a whole video on flying both of these and my thoughts on simulators and sort of their instructional value from a mechanic standpoint. Obviously, there's a lot of instructional value there from a pilot standpoint, but there is quite, uh, quite a lot I can do with these for my classes as well. So... We, however, are gonna go get some lunch at Mary's Cafe. We're gonna get some ribs, so I'll bring y'all along for that. <laughs> All right, everybody, well, just like that, I am done with my day. One of the other instructors is going to be closing everything up. The summer's kind of nice, because in the summertime, if you don't have a class, you don't have to be here. Um, I am a full-time faculty member, so during your spring and fall semester, I have to carry a certain amount of duty hours depending on my workload. That could be eight, nine, 10, uh, usually because how much overload I work, it's like 10 and, 10 and a half, 11 hours that I have to work a day. But during the summer, you're kind of considered like part-time, hired for the class, by the class. So if you don't have a class, you can go, which is exactly what I'm doing. So I'm sorry this camera's shaking so much, but we did get a chance to uh, meet the new DME for New Braunfels. His name is Mr. Knight. Uh, he's talking to our students, kind of telling them about him, all that kind of stuff, giving them his information um, and all that, all that good stuff. So I, I will say I do appreciate you guys for, for watching. Um, don't forget to join the Discord. Those guys get access to these videos a day early. When I make them a day early like I am this one, I'll have this one all edited up and posted on Saturday for the guys on the Discord, and then it will publish for everybody else on Sunday. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's about it. It's right at noon we went and had lunch at mary's cafe had the rib special it was delicious um and now i'm gonna go probably to the gym might hit the gym for a few hours i haven't had a chance to go this week just because i've been really busy um so i want to get to the gym and then after that i'm heading home to uh kiss the wife and have a father's day weekend so please subscribe it helps me get to the point of monetizing likes and comments obviously they help engagement and push these push these videos out to more people um y'all know my long-term goal is to eventually start a scholarship or something so i can give back to the community maybe do like uh giveaways to aircraft tool supply or you know give away textbooks and or pay for people's oral and practical tests or their you know written tests on a lottery basis or i don't know how i'll work any of that out but uh as always like comment subscribe and be easy yes Hi, hi, I'm home. I'm home, yes, yes, I'm home. Hi, hi there.